Two deaths have been reported on Lake Ray Hubbard today. One man was hit in his head with a sail as he tried to put his boat in the water. His body was immediately recovered. And Steve, early this morning, divers recovered the body of a missing boater who disappeared yesterday while trying to rescue a friend. Fox 4's Alex Boyer at the lake with more on that search effort. Alex. Well, Steve, I have some new information to pass along with to you. I just spoke with the game warden, and the game warden, uh, who you just heard there, tells me that uh, the sailboat uh, incident, the man on board the sailboat, he was 48 years old and apparently was knocked into the water by the sail, and his elderly father was on board the sailboat and says that he watched his son swim in the water, trying to get back to the boat, but that the current took him away, and then, as we know, he died as a result of his injuries. Meanwhile, we talked about that second incident that happened here along uh, Lake Ray Hubbard. Uh, police divers recovered the body of that 43-year-old man who disappeared in Lake Ray Hubbard while rescuing a friend. Uh, the divers found him in about 10 feet of water. After the thunderstorms rolled through Lake Ray Hubbard, the rescue boats went back in the water. Dallas Fire Rescue and the Texas Game Warden focused their search on a part of the lake located just across the park from an area known as Party Cove. It's an area they tried searching yesterday. Yesterday the wind was real strong. It was hard to uh, keep the boat steady and the sonars don't work real well on the rough waters because the boat's listening back and forth. Today the conditions out on the water improved. Three hours into the search, rescuers got a lead. Hit the sonar hit on it, um, they dropped the marker on it, and we sent divers down. The first diver came up empty. A second diver suited up and was taken to the same spot to continue searching. He's the one who found the man's body. I thought that was very sad, unfortunate. And Deandra Copeland and her family were fishing near the boat ramp where the body was recovered around 1230. Dallas police say the 43-year-old unidentified boater jumped into the lake holding a life jacket to rescue a friend who was in distress but was not wearing one himself. Wayne Copeland, who has two young boys, says the man was no doubt focused on saving his friend. I mean, even one of my kids, if one of them fell in right now, first thing I'd do is I'd jump in. I wouldn't think about needing a life jacket or a line or something like that. An impulse move that saved one life but took another.